An update now to a cold case, a day in court 20 years in the making as a man answers to a murder charge in the brutal killing of his half sister. 12 News was there to speak with the family about the cruel twist in this unsolved homicide. Here's Kim Kalunian. The families of victims in these cold cases are desperately seeking the truth, but in the case of Rosemarie Moniz, the answer is only bringing them more pain. 53-year-old David Reed appears in Fall River Court charged with the brutal beating death of Rosemarie Moniz. The 2001 case had gone cold until the DA's office says new testing of a murder weapon, this conch shell, revealed Reed's DNA. It was a bitter pill for Rosemarie's family to swallow. Reed is her half-brother, born out of an extramarital relationship had by Rosemarie's father, the same man who discovered his daughter's body that day in March 2001. We spoke with Rose's brother, Fred, last month when news of Reed's indictment broke. You know, I always told my mother and father, we're going to find out who it was. We'll find out. I'm, I'm glad they're not here to know because that would have that would have killed them. Cunha says Reed even carried his sister's casket at her funeral. But Friday morning was the first time many of Rosemary's family members had seen Reed in years. He kept his head down when he came in and when he went out. It's some it's a small sign of guilt, you know. It made me sick to my stomach. Yeah. And if I was a different kind of person, I might have jumped over that, over that little wall that they have there. It made me sick. Because there were no signs of forced entry into Rosemarie's New Bedford home at the time of the crime, suspicion fell directly on her teenage son, Robert. Now he and his family are hopeful the truth will finally prevail. I want to hear him say why he did it. I, and I want to know what happened and just why. Reed pleaded not guilty. He was ordered held without bail and is due back in court in March. I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.